How easy is it to turn a nobody into a world champion in TEW9? I will be sharing my top tips for booking wrestlers classed as unimportant on your roster, then turning them into major stars. I've done this in a previous video, taking a whole lot of Marvin to his popularity cap of 85. He started at 20 in one region of the US, he went on to become world heavyweight champion. Here are my top tips taking someone from undesirable to undeniable. Do not be afraid to use unimportant workers. If they are ready to go skills wise, either in ring or entertainment skills, then give them wins over wrestlers more popular than them. Build a ladder system of your baby faces and heels. Use Excel or WordPad. If pushing a baby face, who is the next heel above them on the popularity ladder? Are they more ready than them? If so, give them the win. Some stats that will help boost matches, angles and company war rankings are charisma and star quality. They are always a good starting point if you are comparing wrestlers. Number two, give them the rub. Now this doesn't work as easy as in TEW 2020. Putting them in angles with your top stars was like a license to print money in the past. It works to a degree, but it will lower the overall rating of the segment more than in the past. So don't use it on one of your big three angles of the show as part of a storyline featuring your top stars. If it affects the angle rating, it will affect the storyline heat. If it affects the overall show rating, it can affect the network happiness. Choose a veteran who isn't one of your in your big five storylines. Pick a veteran top star gatekeeper and pop them in a short term team with the prospect. Put them in matches together, this will boost the in ring skills of the prospect. Put them in angles too, this will help boost their entertainment skills. Now these will happen slowly but giving them wins in matches and angles will boost their momentum and popularity. If their momentum gets to very warm, they can beat other unimportant workers without getting the negative note for having two unimportant workers facing each other. Then it's up to you if you keep them in the team, create a story out of it with one turning on the other, or if they just go their separate ways. Number 3. The Surefire Main Eventers If you find someone on your roster with 85 charisma and star quality, and they have the skills to hang in the ring, a 60 to 65 primary skill in psychology, strap the rocket to them and let them march up the popularity ladder. If they are highly marketable too, this is your new license to print money. You can check that out on the worker attributes tab. Number four, hidden gems. Not everyone is ready to be a surefire hall of famer, but if you check out your creative screen, this gives you a hint. If someone is shown in the next big thing and hot prospect categories, you know they will develop well and potentially get a high destiny role and popularity cap, or no cap at all, which is amazing. Number 5. The Slow Build You may have a top level roster, but it's always good to have an eye on the future. Keeping things fresh. Having a show on a medium plus level network will get enough viewers to help wrestlers with zero popularity quickly rise to around 30 popularity, even if they lose every match. Use workers in pre-show and poor show angles and matches to improve their skills. Put them against or with veterans which will help them to improve. Give them matches on TV and PLEs, this will help them grow popularity wise when the time is right. Number 6. Creative Energy Use your booking team's ideas. Boost your angles, matches and storylines. Surely this is a no-brainer. Use character ideas to flesh out a wrestler's character. This also gives them a boost in morale and you know that will come in handy. If you have a wrestler with bad momentum, use a gimmick idea which will give them a new gimmick. It also restores their momentum back to neutral. You're welcome. Number seven, bring people in on one night deals. There are a number of popular wrestlers who are employed and that goes for every mod, including the default. Don't want them full time? Then bring them in on a short term or one night deal only and you have your prospect go over with a win. And that is a win-win. Unemployed wrestlers will get a payday and some time to get rid of that ring rust. Your up and coming talent gets a popularity and momentum boost. Put it on TV for maximum impact. Tip number eight, the new angle system. Now earlier I mentioned you can't cheese the game putting your prospects with top stars as it will tank the rating, 
but there is kind of a way. Don't just throw them in one segment, structure it. Segment one could be the two, stop, two top stars arguing in a promo. Segment two, the prospect come out and could side with one of the wrestlers. This first part of the angle should get a high rating as it features two established popular wrestlers. Segment two will bring it down, but not as bad as if it was in all in one segment. You could even add segment three where the prospect leaves and you're just left with the two popular workers. This should then bring it back up even further. Make sure this isn't one of your main three or main event angles and it won't affect your show rating. But it should help the prospect grow in popularity, even if it's just 0.5 rays you can't really see yet. Hopefully you learned something from a few of those tips. I got most of this information from the handbook or from playtesting. If you want to see me use some of these tips to get a wrestler from desirable to undeniable, watch this video right here. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe for more TEW9 content. Bye!